I'm recording. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Great. Okay, cool. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I should have told you there was a no, hot mic. No, I can mic. tell from concept. From okay, con- cool. Con- context. Context. Yeah. Because the red light. Red light. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Caravan of Garbage, where we're going to be taking a look at some classic monster movies over this week and next week. This I is love the, that. this. Shut up. This is. <laughs> I was well, talking. Now, I was well, talking. Well, now I don't love it. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to cover any classics over this week and next week. I don't want to. Can you at least do this one because you watched it? Otherwise, you watch something for nothing. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't watch anything for my own enjoyment. I only watch things for content. You know that. Exactly. Not to be content, no. but for content. Absolutely. Mm. Now, I believe this is the oldest film or property that we've looked at on Caravan Whoa. of Garbage. Would you say that's right? That's not a good sign. Because as you know, the quality of content mm. drops off significantly the further back in time you go. Very true. Cave paintings. Boring. Yuck. Boring. Can't sell an action figure off a cave painting. <laughs> boring. That is boring, yeah. yeah. And then something, something, The Matrix, and everything's cool. <laughs> everything's cool, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, I tell you what, though. Uh, the original Godzilla movie. Yes. Which obviously launched a thousand ships. 1954. That's it. 70 years old. Yeah, yeah. This very day. <laughs> yep. This is the anniversary, right? That's now. right. That's Today, right. This, when this comes when out. When you're watching it, whenever that is. Yep. I'll leave a like in this video. Yeah, it got me thinking watching this. A couple of things. I love that they took this so seriously. It's so earnest. Yes. It's not at that tongue-in-cheek point where, you know, King Kong's riding Godzilla to fight another thing or whatever, <laughs> which I that, also love. That's cool too. Which I also love. Right, there's no, well, that just happened. No. That nobody's invented that yet. <laughs> I think also. I think that was The Matrix 1999. It might have been, yeah. He's beginning to believe, well, that just happened. <laughs> I think also it made me like Godzilla minus one more because that is such a great kind of reboot of this, really. Yeah, isn't it? a lot of it's 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 not quite a remake, but there is certainly a lot of yeah shared elements to it. Yeah, it's a real Godzilla's a, mean and rude for no reason. He is. It's a real loving homage. But yeah, I went into this. I look the the last time I saw this would have been I would have I would have taped it off the TV yeah. in the nineties or 1954. something. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> I got my building sized VHS recorder <laughs> and I taped it off the telly. And uh yeah, I I was wondering how it was gonna hold up. And uh look, it takes a minute to get going. Definitely. But it, it what's interesting is how many elements were there from the beginning. Oh my god, you're not wrong. The famous Godzilla theme, the one that goes <laughs> <laughs> the Godzilla scream. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, all of that. So that's Akira Ifukube, and he not only did the music, he also came up with Godzilla's roar. Yes. Which is apparently just rubbing coarse resin-coated rubber gloves together. Oh, let's try that now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, the um, he came up with the, like the thunderous footstep sound using like a kettle drum and. And a knotted rope, much like James Bond's balls, no doubt. Oh, sure, it's like yeah. that kind of situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if you look at, like, the atomic breath is here. I mean, it's more of a, a fine aerosol can mist. Yes. But it's here. It's here. And, again, I, I was went into this fully expecting we wouldn't see that, or if we did, you know, maybe, maybe that would be a later edition or something like mm. that. But, I mean, again, it's, it's not the laser beam of kind of present-day versions, but it's there, and there's like a f- there's like a five minute sequence where he just lays waste to the city oh and just just poisons people to death and blows <laughs> up buildings and you see those you know those those electricity towers just melt yeah just really good stuff good miniature work in this I you agree, know because yeah. a lot of this they were flying blind like they didn't really know well this Adam was the first guy in a suit yeah uh, movie really. oh no so at, the, at the very least yeah. So this so game's came- twelve Angry Men. Oh yeah, that's a lot true. of men. Suits <laughs> a lot of men that. Twelve specifically. Yeah. So these, in terms of cost, we'll talk more about that at the end. But during the fifties and sixties, these were Toho's like most ambitious projects and most expensive. And they were only able to do that because they managed to sell these overseas. Sure. Because most of the other properties that they make, they don't necessarily translate well. You know, sure. Japanese art house, black and white cinema. People weren't loving that necessarily. Okay, in sure. The 50s, some made it across, of course. I know you you probably <laughs> saw them. You watched yes. this and you're like, oh, I, yeah. saw, I saw a lot of that. Great. Mm. That's good for you. But I'm saying in terms of appealing to a mass audience. Yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff, you know. I love also in this how like they attempt 
to explain everything scientifically. Sure. You know, where does Godzilla come from? Probably under the ocean. Yeah. They've changed it multiple times, you know, over the years. This one, it's kind of implied that he looks the way he does because he's been burnt by nuclear explosions. He was very handsome before this. He was so handsome. He was Gaston in Beauty and the Beast. Was he really? Yep. Um, as played by James Vanderbeek. I'm thinking of the two most handsome things. Oh, yes, absolutely. That's right. Does that work for yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, I love that. Yeah, yeah. And they bring in, like, the oxygen destroyer to... To get rid of him, you know. Again, like still being used to this day. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Just all of that stuff is really, really good. And there's so much amazing imagery in this. I mean, there's a funny moment where they're trying to hit him with missiles from a plane and they cannot hit the fucking broadside of a barn, <laughs> That's mate. right. What are you doing? Well, I mean, it would have also been really hard to put explosive squibs on the Godzilla suit, I imagine. Because you'd kill the man in it. You'd kill the man. Oh, he had a real rough time. I want to talk about that, Mason. So according to suit actor Hairu... Haruo. Spin it around. Spin it, fuck it up. Nakaj- um, Nakajima. Yeah, it's Haruo Nakajima. Yeah. Haruo Nakajima. And I'm so sorry, by the way. <laughs> okay. This accent does me no favours, other than ordering a beer at the RSL. Then oh, I yeah. nail it. People mm-hmm. are like, look at this fella. Come on. One Haruo Nakajima, please. <laughs> That's what I say. Uh, the suit was made from ready mixed concrete. That sounds too heavy already. That's right, due to a limited supply of latex. I would have used anything else. <laughs> yeah, well, it was post-war Japan. You couldn't just get anything, right? That's true. And the original suit weighed... Oh, this is a metaphor. It's a metaphor, Mason. Wow. You didn't think it was about anything, but it's a metaphor. <laughs> There's politics in this. Uh, the original suit weighed 104 kilograms and was nearly impossible to use. But luckily, they made a second suit from a liquid plastic polymer. Okay. And that only weighed 91 kilograms. Oh, <laughs> shave off a couple of kilos there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so It wh- gives it weight. Certainly. Oh, boy, does it. <laughs> yeah. Godzilla's not wobbling in the wind, is he? No. So one of the ideas initially was they thought, could we do this like King Kong, which came like 20 years prior? Do we use stop motion? And they realized, well, we don't really have the skill set for that in Japan at this point. Also, it's very time consuming. Also, when you use miniatures, like you've got to get the scale right. It's a very specific skill set, which they didn't go with. And that way, if you put big guy in a suit, Mm -hmm. then you can build bigger miniatures. That's so true. Miniatures, if you will. So they went with something called suitmation, or really just guy in in a big suit. Absolutely. Would probably be the more technical term. Yeah, apparently, yeah, the actor in it used to faint frequently, obviously. It <laughs> wouldn't matter, though, because the suit would stay up. Because <laughs> yeah, it's right. set solid concrete. <laughs> yeah, and it got up to like 60 degrees Celsius inside it. That's too Which hot. is just absolutely insane. I think the only thing that's not quite right on it, mm-hmm. I know the scale varies like scene to scene. I don't really care about that. I think you kind of do what works best sure. dramatically. You could say it's the radiation. Yeah, exactly. Say so it's the radiation. The eyes are a bit kind of like, uh-huh. boom, <laughs> you know? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. he's looking in opposite directions. But there's some amazing imagery in this. Some of my favourite moments, there's the one where he gets caught in power lines. I think that's really good. The rampage sequences are all a lot of fun. And there's a moment where he puts his head over the mountain. You see him, he's like, hello, I'm Godzilla. And then they go over the mountain to see him. And he's gone. He's, he's gone. He's, he's Michael Myers and Halloweened it. Yeah. He's run away. And you see the footsteps in the sand and mm. there's just like a tail line that's been dragged through. Uh-huh. I love that. I think that's so cool. Oh, that's just reminded me. We, we, we said this was an era before... Well, that just happened. But there is a line in this movie where somebody goes, this isn't a movie. <laughs> it is, though. It is a movie. It is a movie. Don't actually. lie to us. Yeah, don't lie. We know. We can tell. <laughs> I'm in a movie theatre right now. And by that, I mean I'm on my phone. Absolutely. I found, uh, you know, the ending a little bit anticlimactic because they defeat him, well, they think, for a time, and he goes for a little swim. Yeah, it is. It's not. It, it, I mean, it's not the classic Hollywood ending where it's like the, you know, the two forces finally collide. Godzilla's having a little nap. Yeah. And they just go down and they poison him. Yeah. Which I think is rude, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah. I'd wake him up and be like, come on, mate. You, you, you throw the first punch, then I'll hit you with my oxygen destroyer. But I do think there's something to be said. You don't have the cement balls <laughs> to come at me. But I do think there is something to be said that, like, there is this, like, ever-looming threat. And we mm. know he's not really gone. And if it's not him that returns, it'll be another variation That's right. on him. So it doesn't end like we got him. It ends with, like, this will probably happen again. Sure. We'll be seeing this guy or something similar, probably in 1956, the sequel movie. Mm. Uh, do you want to do some trivia? Yes. Or as I call it, Trivia 1954. I love that. Great. So director Akira Kurosawa... You might know from various films. I do. Yeah. Uh, He was a lifelong friend of fellow director Ishiro Honda and included this film among his all-time favourite films. That's nice. Other directors have said kind things as well. George Lucas cites this film's miniatures as an inspiration 
for the special effects that he used in Star Wars. He also used miniatures. He, used, he did every special effect by himself. A lot of people don't know that. George <laughs> well, Lucas single-handedly that's right. did every effect. Yeah. And, in, and including all the practical effects in the prequels. Yep, it's all practical that's effects. Right, it's did, practical. did people know that? People don't know that, but it's true. <laughs> so when Christopher Lee did that flip, that was George Lucas. That's right. Oh, my God. That part where Dooku loses his arms, that's Lucas. What? Cut his own arms off. Did he really? Yep. Amazing. Steven Spielberg also cites this movie as inspiration for Jurassic Park. Scorsese is a huge fan, but there is one person I found who is not. Is it Roger Ebert? <laughs> God, you reckon? He ha- I'm sure he hated it. Really? Yeah. Was he reviewing movies in 1954? No, but I think he came back to it. Because oh. there's also an American version of this. Oh, what, there's like a re-edit kind well, of? Well, it's a re-edit. It's got Raymond Burr, Canadian right. actor Raymond Burr. Just They put him in sort of new scenes with a lot of Japanese extras, and he's a, he's a reporter. He's reporting on it. It's wow, just, look at that. Yeah, it's just a lot of reaction shots. And mopping his brow. Yeah, going, whoa, I can't believe this. <laughs> I should leave. <laughs> but I won't. I can't. Yeah. Because there's nothing really here. Mm. It's fine. I'm completely safe. That's right. Who were you, who were you going to say? Ray Harryhausen. Oh, what? He apparently harbored a deep... Oh, well, deep, he's a Mr. Stop Motion. Well, yeah, he? he harbored a deep resentment for Godzilla for most <laughs> of his life. Because he lived in fear of him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he thought there was a lot... He thought specifically his film, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, like inspired this. Oh. And the creators of Godzilla have been very open about their love for his work, you know? So sure. I don't, if anything, it was a homage and not like, we're going to stick this to Ray Harryhausen. That's right. This will show Nobody's him. ever going to think of the beast from <laughs> over the block or whatever you said. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to think about it again. No. You know why? Because the beast from 20,000 20, Fathom wasn't like, ha, 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 And he was mostly 20,000 Fathoms down. We didn't That's even right. know what he was up to. It's just people going, God, this is good, isn't it? It's good. Ah, it's nice to be at the beach, isn't it? <laughs> God, at sea level. Oh, so calm. Apparently the film also does use stop motion animation to enhance a few brief scenes in which vehicles crash into Godzilla's tail and it twitches. I don't specifically remember that. No. Uh, ben and Lawrence, if you can find that, here it is. Yeah. If you can't, that's fine also. And here's a couple of incredible model shots where like a, a helicopter is tipped over by a slight breeze. <laughs> yeah. There's one and there's a car. That's flipping these over. aren't real, are they? No, they look... They look awful. <laughs> really, but really bad. You, it's 1954, Mason. Yeah, I know. It's 70 years to the day. And it's true. It's true. Uh, and also in the year 2004, on the year of its 50th anniversary, Godzilla was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Did Godzilla show up? We couldn't Did have, Mason. It? He's too big. He would have stepped on all the stars, including Patrick Dempsey. Is that what you want? No. <laughs> not Patrick Dempsey. It's McDreamy. It's McDreamy, yeah. Mason. Yeah. Not McSteamy. Yeah. Not McStomped on. That'd be rude. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I guess we could talk box office because it's actually pretty interesting, Ooh. I think. So the budget of this was 60 million yen, which is about 400,000 US dollars at the time, which equates to about 4.5 million today. It's not bad. No. And the box office return, because this did have a bit of an international release, was 2.5 million, which is about 28.6 million today. That's not bad. Pretty bloody good, mate. Mm -hmm. So there were three successful movies from this year, Japanese releases. Uh, Seven Samurai. Uh Samurai. Is that Kurosawa as well? Yep. Well, he had a bloody bang here, didn't he? I agree. What is he, um, uh, an American director that is also prolific? Yeah. Is he that guy? Yeah, it's him. The guy I'm thinking of? Yeah, that's him. Wow. Yeah. Ray that's Harryhausen? Great. No. Absolutely not. George Lucas? Of... Sure, that's one. Prolific. Yeah. Yeah. The guy... Wachowskis that one year? Yep. Uh, guy Ritchie? Yeah. Oh, he's... Oh. Three movies a year, whatever he's doing. Wow, too many, some would say. Just lads. Yeah. Just right. lads Aladdin about. And Aladdin. He also did Aladdin. Oh, yeah, that's well, that's also lads, isn't it? It very much so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Samurai Eye and Godzilla. So that w- they were one, two, three in the Japanese box office that year. Good for them. But, of course, this was the real success story. Since 1954, there's been around, and this will probably change by the time this goes out, yeah. 68 feature films released. Whoa. This property is valued between $4.5 and $5 billion. So much. I know. And it's and just yeah. started from this. And what Seven Samurai had. They've had Seven Samurai, Magnificent Seven, that Magnificent Seven remake, yep. S Club Seven. Yep. It's about it, really. Battle Beyond the Stars. Sure. And I guess Star Wars, sort of, I guess, I guess, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and they reckon also there's been about $2 billion in toy sales and tie-in bits and pieces over the years. Huge property. Mm. Again, just the thing that they went, let's have a big smashy monster that's going to tell us a story about the, the horrors of nuclear war and also post-war Japan, etc. And everybody went, whoa. Everyone went, whoa. Just blowing stuff up. That's, that's cool. It. Exactly. Above sea level as well. <laughs> That's interesting. It is interesting. No judgment, but that's quite interesting. <laughs> Unlike things that are happening, you know, several thousand fathoms below. Sure, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Which would be boring. <laughs> it would be a bit boring, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. 
Harry Snoozenhausen. Whoa. Harry Nappenhausen. Harry, Nappenhausen, yep. 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 Ray Haver Snoozen. That's great. That's really thank, good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. We got there in the end. God, did we? The best thing anyone's ever said. I'll tell you what, Mason. We're going to come back and check out another monster movie next week. Do you want to know what it is? Uh, is it another Godzilla movie? No, Mason. Oh. Here's a hint. What is it? It's King Kong. It's the original King Kong. Whoa. We're going back even further. Oh, that's so old. Sometimes you've got to eat your vegetables, you know what I mean? Ugh, I don't want to. No, Mason, you, we're looking at classic movies. Does anybody shoot a laser? Probably not. Ugh. Someone probably throws a spear. Is this, pre, is this pre-laser media? <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't know. Wow. You love it and you probably respect it. Does Godzilla leap in the air and fire two guns at once? No, probably not in that God one. God damn it. As far as I'm aware, he wasn't invented. That was this wow. like, like 20 years prior, yeah. But is this the origin of his iconic big yellow gauntlet? Robot gauntlet. Yes, it is in that. Okay, yeah, that's so good. That's great. Okay, all right. Then I'm okay. <laughs> Don't panic, everyone. If you do want to see that early, you can actually head over to bigsandwich.co where all the videos go up there early, but that's not the only thing. There's bonus movie commentaries. There's bonus podcasts. We also do video game Let's Plays. Video game Let's Plays. Also, we have a podcast called The Weekly Planet where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out there early on Sunday as opposed to Monday. All of that is ad-free if you do want to check it out. Okay. Um, l- leave a comment. Leave a comment? Leave a comment. Okay. Do you, do you like lasers? Do you like lasers? Yeah. What's the best King Kong Godzilla movie? Yeah. Is it Godzilla X Kong versus the New Empire? Might be. Might be. Yeah. All right, bye, everyone. Bye. Grab that gem. We'll see you next time. Bye.